Welcome to the world! Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to record the um, second kind of full face Dollar Tree makeup video. The first one I did, um, as you know, was more of like a brown tones, natural tones kind of look. It was a lighter one. Um, we used a BB cream instead of a foundation and I wanted to know like how they both work and I wanted to know how it equates to like a day-to-day -day look and how it equates to like a full glam um, like full on makeup look and so that is what we're doing today um, I've got some of my stuff is like already opened up and out and ready yeah I learned that last time I probably should have had everything opened out and out and ready but I didn't so we're gonna go ahead and do that I'll probably fast forward through it because we have some fun stuff that I wanted to try for this time around um, I'm still gonna again be using the pressed powder. I'm again I'm gonna be using um, a few of the products that I used in the last video, which I will link up in the corner here. Um, and we're using some similar products from the last one, just to kind of see how they equate out, how the different colors work. I'm getting them all out here. Uh, we are also going to be using lashes in this video. I got a couple different pairs because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. Um, and then I got like I got just a bunch of different products I wanted to try basically. Because I wasn't sure what all I was going to be doing with it. We're also going to try this loose powder this time around. See how that works. My cat's going insane. And I got what I think are some more full coverage products. Um, again, that's going to make an interesting situation for trying to... Uh, my brain just froze. For trying to, like, make it match my skin tone. Because as we all know, none of these match my skin tone. Um, and so we're going to have a little bit of a... Opening montage... And I'll kind of tell you what I got as I open it. Well, after I get everything open, we'll open everything and then I'll tell you what I got and what I'm probably going to reuse. So, bear with me just a second. Because in mystical, magical editing land, it literally is just a second. And I've got a garbage can right here, so I'm not just dropping this stuff on the floor. I, I really do have a place that it's going. It's right there. Okay, so everything is opened, um, and I'm gonna gonna kind of go through and show you what I have um, and what we're gonna use. First, I'm gonna get my hair out of the way. I don't have my ears with me today, so we're just gonna have to put it up in my scrunchie and hope that that holds it. Um, and so the things that we used last time that we will be using again are the brushes, the mascara, the finishing powder compact squisher. I just almost stabbed myself in the eye with that. So the squisher, um, maybe this thing again, maybe I'm not sure as much as I don't like it, this Kabuki brush, cause it's the only like mass powder brush I've got. My husband's apparently been over here playing with it. The eyebrow pencil, the foundation primer, and possibly the highlighter. I do have another color of highlighter, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. 
So the first thing we'll do is I'll put on the foundation primer as much as it feels like spackle going on my face. Oh, and <laughs> my beautiful mirror. Um, so I'm just gonna like squeeze some of this onto my face Woo. and then just kind of rub it in from there because it took a whole lot last time and it gave me kind of a white cast so I'm hoping if I use like if I just put it everywhere it might kind of counteract how bad I know this foundation is going to be. And I know this thing is not meant for rubbing, but that's how we're going to do this. Oh, I feel like a kid wearing sunscreen. Oh, this is going to be interesting today. You know, the more I use this thing, the more I realize, oh, my Lord. <laughs> okay. We're going to actually going to have to like rub this in because all that's doing is spreading it around. I think I used too much. But that's okay. Hopefully, by using that much and giving myself a really white base. I'm going to put some of it on my eyes and use it as the eye primer because I don't have an eye primer. And now I look like a ghost. Cool. So... I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, and I just didn't use enough last time. Or if I just used way too much this time. Because, like, guys, this stuff is all the way rubbed into my skin. Like, I can keep rubbing, but it's not going to go anywhere. Like I'm having to put considerable pressure into moving any of this once it sets down. So we're just going to give that a second to set down. Oh, I look like a ghost. Yeah. And it's fragranced, which is weird. I've never had a fragranced primer. Okay. Well, if I ever need ghost makeup, now I know what to use. Gotta bring it down my neck a bit. Ugh. I forgot to grab me a, a towel. Or tissues for my brushes. Give me two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, just to kind of update you guys, this has been like setting on my face for about 10 minutes now. Um, I did a couple of things. I got my stuff organized into tools products and then product categories. So like face, lips, eyes, lashes are over here. Um, I got two different kinds of lashes because one of them had the glue in it. Um, and the others were just like really big and I kind of really wanted to try them. I wasn't sure. Um, and then my squisher is over here cause I consider it a tool and I've got my already open products up here. You can't see any of that, but just so you know, that's the kind of process we're going to go through. Um, we did have a concealer, but I didn't feel like the last look needed it. I don't know if this one's going to need it. It's a peach colored concealer. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then this is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. Um, it's in creamy beige. It was the lightest shade I could find. I'm hoping having this white cast on my face from that primer might like lighten it up a bit. And then I've got the blush we used last time, the highlighters, and then these two little things, which is supposed to be a blush and a highlighter, but with the colors, I think they're going to end up being more of like a contour sculpting duo, because if you look at them, this one's pretty light, that one's very much dark, so we'll kind of see what happens there. I also got that brown eyeshadow I used in the last video, that liquid one by LA Colors. Um, I really liked that and there were 
pink and a purple when I picked it up. So I got these two as well. Um, and so I don't really know what I'm going to be doing, but I know I'm going to be going in like a pink kind of pinky purple, like really out there kind of look. I've got the LA Colors three colored eyeshadow palette, palette like I got the last time. This one has like a really soft pink, kind of a pinky purple, and then like a gold. These are all shimmers, so I may have to use the last one for a couple of mattes. I forgot there's tape on this. Stick that to the side of my garbage bag over there. Um, this palette is called, I think the last one was called Sunflower. Got it right here, so... Yeah, so I may have to break into the Sunflower, like, mini palette for these two mattes here. These two mattes here. Uh, this one, and this one, and this one. And this is, like, all shimmers. So we're probably going to use those. Um, this is the Water Lily palette. Do not confuse that with the Lily palette. The Lily palette is black, gray, and white. Why that's a thing, I don't know, but it is. I'm realizing there's some slime. Oh, nope, it was just a, nope, never mind. I thought there was slime that had dried on my brush. I was wrong. It's just a little bit of fallout glitter from something that I'm playing with. Same mascara as last time, same brows as last time. This time I am gonna go in and do my eyes first because I don't want, well, no, we better put some foundation on and then I'll just deal with fallout if there's fallout. Or, I'm really indecisive today, guys. Yeah, we're gonna do my eyes first just because I don't want to put that on yet. And I don't wanna. Okay, eyes. <clears throat> we're gonna go with the middle color in the sunflower palette and kind of pop that on my eye with my flooper. Flooper. Try and get some of the browns off. I tried to get some of the browns off and they're just like stuck in there. So I know that this is going to blend like right away, like off into La La Land. So I'm going to try and pick it up with the blender and see if that helps maybe a little bit. Probably won't. We're going to find out. If this doesn't work, we'll go in and use the blush again. But I want to make sure there's at least, let's see. See, when you use the floofer to apply it, you can get a little bit on there. But I've also got that face primer on my eye, and so it's kind of giving a bit of a white cast. And that is blended way, way far up, so we're gonna have to put something over that to kind of bring it down. Way up too. Bring it down a bit too. Oh, Lordy. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Ow. Whoo, fall out in my eye. Um, the lippy that we used for the last for the last look, I told you guys, I thought I told you guys, maybe I didn't tell you guys. I got the other two colors that weren't like orange orange, and so I have There's no way these are both the same color. Rhapsody. What in the heck is going on here? Silky. 
Okay, for some reason, even though this package said Rhapsody and this package said Silky, both, both bottles say Silky, but they're very clearly two different colors. I think they took the sticker that's supposed to go on this one and just like slapped it on this one. Or they filled the bottle wrong. Nope, because it's not a sticker. It's it's imprinted on the bottle. There's a hair from me and my nail. So that's that's gonna be fun. Um, and then I also got if I don't like the way those look, I got a this makes me laugh. It's a tinted lipstick. I don't know about you guys, but the last time I checked, all lipsticks are tinted. And that's in the color wine. So if when I'm done with this, I feel like I want more of a whiny color. And then um, I really, really, really did not like that liquid liner, y'all. And I knew I didn't wasn't going to want to use a brown liquid liner because brown was all they had with this look because I'm doing the pinks and the purples. So I got this Maybelline New York. I was really surprised to find this at Dollar Tree. But this is Maybelline New York Pres Master Precise Ink Liner. Liquid liner. And it's metallic. It's like a metallic lavender color. It's called Violet Nova. It's supposed to be metallic. Oh, yes, it is metallic. Oh, brother. That's going to be. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's about to be one of my new favorites. And it's not like a brush brush. It's like a felt tip, but like a brush handle. So this should be interesting, but I just put like a teeny tiny bit on my finger. Look at the shine. Like it's reflecting my camera. That is really cool. Okay. Now I'm really excited to use that. So I want to make sure I use the rest of it in a manner that I can still use that and it's going to look amazing. So I don't have super high hopes for this palette because I'm... I don't know if like last time it's going to basically blend away as soon as I put it on, but we're going to go in with, we're going to take off some of the sunflower that we just used. I'm horrible. I like eat the living tar out of my brushes. When I'm using the same brush, I try to like get colors off between change of colors. And we're going to go in with this middle color this middle color right here. We're going to try and pack my floofer up with it. It looks like it's a pretty shiny color, like all the time, but we'll find out. And we're going to start in my outer corner, because I know that's where I want the purple to be mostly. And we're going to kind of go like about halfway across the eye, or we're going to try. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to try. Okay, so that actually worked pretty well. So again, we're going to load up my flooper, outer corner, and floop it on. That halfway across up and not working as well on that eye. Well, maybe. And then that pink is really, really light. So I think what I want to do with that pink, I'm going to take it in a little further. So I know this is a blending brush, but this is the brush that these colors are reacting best to. So I'm just kind of using the side of the brush to put it on. Oh, and I'm realizing just how white my face looks. Okay. I'm not... I don't understand why... This one seems to be doing, I don't know if it's just because of the different brush I'm using, but this one seems to be cooperating better than the Sunflower palette. So 
So I'm going to try my all over shadow brush and see if that has a different effect. We're going to go in with the goldish color. I really wish these had names other than it's the water lily palette. I'm going to put that like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Guys, that's really pretty. You guys can't see it. Why can't you guys see it? Hmm. And I don't think turning off my kitchen light's gonna help. Let me move my lamp closer. That's the best lighting we're gonna get. Until I can get a ring light. Guys, I promise my next order on Amazon I'm getting a ring light. I've already ordered a train case, um, but I promise my next order I'm getting a ring light to stick like behind here so I can see what I'm doing. So you can see what I'm doing. Because this is really pretty and I wish you could see how pretty this is, but it's not wanting to cooperate. So what we're going to do then, because I want to make sure I get some pink in here, is we're going to open up these Revlon color charge or color change. It just says loose eyeshadow powder, palette, powder. I'm going to presume that's an R. Of course, on top of being in a cardboard container, they then are wrapped. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna get all of these open because I know I'm gonna wanna play with them. And even if I don't put them on my eye, I'm gonna swap some on my arm or on my hand. If I can even get them open. I have a song stuck in my head, guys. But I don't wanna sing it because I don't wanna get copyright striked. Oh, come on. I really wanna use these. All right, we're going to start with the, oh, and there's even, they just like do everything to make sure you can't get to this pigment because there's even a little flappy dude on the inside. This one, thankfully, is, ooh, really easy to remove, but like, I can get it to unstick from itself. You guys, look how pink that is. See why I want to try it? We're just going to pick some up on the floofer and kind of put it down on my hand. Oh, that's really sheer, though. Oh, wow. that That's really sheer. Like, there's the light. Barely see the color there. So we're going to try the gold. Cause I feel like the gold could maybe go in my inner corner. Woo! Oh, whoa. It's not that much. Ooh. Oh, you guys. That camera does not do it justice. I know what we can do. Wait, right back here. There we go. Look at that. That is like super shimmery. Can't wait to see what this white one does. My sister is sending me stuff about Wish. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Like maybe a Wish haul? I haven't used Wish in a couple of years actually like a lot of years. The 
so one thing I did learn is these palettes pick up other colors very easily. So make sure you're using a, oh my goodness. I want, I just want a little bit. I just want. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in case you guys haven't figured it out yet, glitter is my life. And I just found something I'm going to need to stock up on. So the very, very bottom there, that white is pure glitter. Pink kind of shaded gold. And then on the very bottom there, is that white. And it's just like, oh my gosh. So these are definitely not going under anything. These are going on top of everything. These may have just become one of my favorite products from this whole thing. So we're going to kind of close those back up. Because those are definitely going on top of everything. We're going to grab some of this pink on my, where did it go? My all over shadow brush. We're going to kind of cut out my upper brow and the shape that I want. And I might use like a little bit of the, depending on what color it is, a little bit of the loose powder or the translucent powder or something to kind of give me some shape to this eye look. Because it's not shaping very well because I don't have like a, mm, that's a shimmer. Maybe the finishing powder will shape it. Because I'm trying to get like a nice, smooth, crisp, open open product. Okay, that kind of does what I'm wanting it to do. But not entirely. So we're going to have to either use a magic trick, maybe. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to add some more purple. Take the finishing powder off my brush. We're going to add some more purple because I'm trying to make like a really vibrant look. And since this purple is doing so well on my fluffer, I'm hoping it'll do just as well on my all over shadow brush. And if it doesn't, because usually a nice sheer shadow is pretty buildable. That's not doing what I, okay. You know what? We're not going to keep fighting with it. We're going to use what's left on my brush to even out this eye so it looks even in person. I'm going to blend them a bit. So again with these shadows, kind of like last time, they work really nice until you start messing with them. I think I have glitter in my eye. Oh yes, that purple. Kind of stingy up there. We're going to save this the way we saved the last one with these liquid shadows. Guys, that purple. So it still definitely has that really weird cooling sensation. I'm just going to go in with the doe foot, see if I can get it to do what I want it to. There, okay. Kind. Now we're kind of getting a shape. So in person, it definitely works a whole lot better if you just use the doe foot applicator. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of going over with a second layer to make sure what I want is the shape that I'm getting. That's got some shimmer to it though. Kind of let it dry while I get out the pink. And then we're going to go kind of from like overlap it a little bit into the inner corner with the pink. And then we're just going to go in with the gold from the Water Lily palette and really pack that gold on. And hopefully by not blending out the wool, that's pink. That's pink. Hopefully by not blending out the gold, woo, we will get kind of the shape that we want. Oh, that is real pink. 
it definitely goes a lot faster if you just use the doe foot applicator. I'm going to kind of pat these edges here to blend them a bit. I want a nice soft edge. I don't want a super hard edge. Actually, we're just going to use this. So you want a nice soft edge, you want a super hard edge, and there's still a little bit of purple on this, so we're just going to kind of get the shape we want, blend everything together so we don't have harsh lines. That's, that's a, oh, that is definitely a look. Okay. Now we're going to go in with the gold on the very inner corner. I wish I would have just done this to begin with because this is so much easier. And we're going to pick up this gold, like really pack it on there, and then slight tap in right on the inner corner. Okay, that's not going over that pink very well. Like it's trying, it's just not succeeding. I think I just messed it up. Okay, we're gonna put that palette away because we're not gonna keep fiddling with it. Because what I want to try is some of this Revlon color charge. So this is what the package looks like. And I'm trying not to move it too much because I took the thing off already. Okay, we're gonna pick up some of that glitter. Gently pick up some of that glitter. Oh gosh, you guys. Come on, focus on my hand. Focus on the brush. This way. Hand to this way. This way. Okay, my camera is apparently like twisted. There we go. Look at that glitter. <laughs> glitter, glitter. Woo! Oh, girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh my lord. Woo! Oh, that is glittery. You can't see it on camera. Oh, I wish you guys could see this on camera. We're going to go in with the pink, see if the pink does the same thing. Glitter! I may have just found some of my absolute favorite products. Like those liquid eyeshadows were something. But you guys, like, I don't even mind having the gold glitter transfer, but I want to try and get, like, this pink as pure as pink can be. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I want like every last bit of that pink off the lid. Oh my lord, love a duck. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, it's kind of picking it up. Look at that. Guys, oh, oh, I'm feeling this. I'm loving this. I may have to start doing like full on glam every day just so I have a reason to use these glitters. And this white has like a purpley undertone, so I'm just going to kind of put it over this purple. I know it's going to lighten it up a bit, but I, I, I want to put this white everywhere. Like, I do not mind this look going all the way up to my eyebrows, girls, guys, everybody, y'all. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, these are definitely going to be added into my, like, normal makeup routine. Okay, we're going to go with kind of a 
Fold a brow. I'm going to get my brows done. Uh, no, I better not do my brows yet. Okay. We're going to let my eyes just kind of like sit there while I put my face on real quick. I don't know if I want to try using that Swiss first thing again. Probably shouldn't put it on the back of that hand because the back of that hand is covered in glitter. Okay. Well, sadly it wiped off my hand very easily, but hopefully it'll stay on my eyes. And I'll make sure I use the setting spray. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's like it's a really creamy formula, but that is not gonna be my shade. Like at all, guys. Okay, first we'll put some on my face. And I don't know if by maybe just using like less if I can make it my shade. We're gonna try. It's really not my shade. Use my little whisper thing, my weird little whisper thing. Okay. Ooh, that is not my color. Okay, let's add as much as my skin's gonna hate it. We're gonna add some of this to it. See if we can lighten it up a bit. Maybe by adding some white to it, it'll lighten up. That is not my shade. Any form of shading. Well, that lightened it up a bit. Changed the formula a bit too, so. We're just gonna go in with my hand. I don't like the way this this first thing is acting. Still not my color. Interesting. Not my color in any means of the word. My skin is already angry about it. Oh, lordy. Okay. I'm going to use the rest of this on the bottom of my neck and I can try it down. Use my little towel. <gasps> I don't know if maybe putting like primer on top of it because the primer is as white as it is might help. So we're gonna try, see what happens. Just a little bit, kind of all over the place. At least where I need light and not shadow. I know I should be being a whole lot more gentle with my under eye area and I'm just not at the moment. Okay, so it's not perfect and there's still something in my eye, but it's better, better than it was better than it was and we're gonna leave it alone because I mess with it too much. Next is concealer. We're gonna see how bad this is gonna match. So this is a Conceal Correct in Peach which is supposed to help with dark circles, which I usually have, but you can't see them because I have so much. Well, you can see it a little bit. Oh, that's really peach. Okay. I might use that for kind of a liquid contour. So that's really peach. So I'll just put that where I would normally put my contour. 
just the smallest amount of it. I am going to use my little whisper thing for that. This thing is so weird. All right, we're just going to use my finger in all of the not super small places. We're going to use this to kind of like spread it out. And then we're going to go in with my finger because this doesn't actually like put it in your skin at all anywhere. I mean, it does cancel out my dark circles pretty well, but I think it's definitely a before makeup kind of thing. Like, I probably should have put that on before I put my foundation on, and I didn't, and I regret it. Like, in every sense of the word, I regret it. The next thing we're going to do is put on some of this loose powder in light and see if that does anything at all to lighten this up. Oh, well, it's definitely light, which is good. Okay, we're going to use this horrendous kabuki brush because it was the only like super big fluffy powder brush I could find. Like, weirdly, I don't mind. Okay, we're not doing that. We're not using. Oh, yeah, better. It's not doing anything, but maybe if I, like, pack the brush itself a little bit tighter, it might. Oh, it's just so scratchy. I don't know if I'm needing this much product because of the brush or because of the product. I don't know if like the brush is just eating it or if the product's just that far gone. I give up on this brush. We're going to try with the highlighter brush because it's, it's fluffy ish. If that doesn't work, we're going to go in and just grab one of my brushes. I'm trying really hard not to do that, but. Like when you compare the Kabuki brush to this Wet and Wild one, Wet and Wild one wins hands down. Okay, see, when you're using a brush that actually appreciates what you're doing, it's not as bad. And I'm not mad at the powder. I think I could use the powder in a pinch. But I'm, at, I'm definitely closer to, like, my coloring now. Okay. Definitely closer to my coloring now. So that's a good starting point. Now we're going to use this blush. It, well, it's supposed to be a blush, but it's like a dark-ish color. So we're going to try and use it for like some contouring. And see if we can get some to pick up on the brush. And I'm going for a more obvious contouring this week. Actually, we're gonna. I have two of these brushes, so I'm gonna use this one for the. Uh, keep using this one. Use this one for the darker product, and the other one for the lighter product. Guys, I'm really having to like. Just so you know, I'm having to like really attack this thing to pick product up on my brush. And I'm kind of giving it like a circle motion. And 
and I bring my jaw contour down my neck a bit. Okay. Now we're going to switch to this one. It's called a highlighter, but it's really light and it's not super shimmery. So I'm going to hope that I can use it for like where the light is supposed to hit my face. I know that was originally called highlighting, but I'm so accustomed to highlighting involving glitter and shiny. So we're going to see if we can use this on like the lighter parts of my, whoo. See, whereas this product, there's a whole bunch of it, like all over the place, which is really interesting because they're by the same brand. I'm just going to blend the crap out of it. I hate the kabuki brush, but it's got the best surface area for this. So I'm just going to like squish it really tight between my fingers and apparently scratch the heck out of my face because it makes it scratchy. This feels like taking a Brillo pad to your face, guys. Yeah, this was supposed to be like a higher contour and it's just not doing anything and I've like murdered the poor kabuki brush. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to a little bit of blush. We're going to use the darker toned brush for this because blush is a darker tone than the glitter I'm about to put on my face. There's a little bit of pink, so just like a little bit of color, but not too, too much. Try and bring some life back into my face. And then we're going to go in with this. And I think I'm going to combine them because one of them is more of a gold tone and one of them is definitely more of like a white-ish tone. See, I'm still in love with that highlighter. And when you combine them, it's really nice. Does uh, Mama Nose still feel like a fairy? I am so in love with this highlighter, you guys. This is probably going to work its way into my everyday wear for when I don't want to be purple. I will highlight to the stars. Um, where's my setting spray? It was here. It fell over. So we're going to do my brows and kind of trace out where I want my liner to go and then we'll set it and put on lashes and then well no we better put the lighter on and then the lashes so that there's something for the lashes to stick to because just in case they don't want to just in case they don't want to stick to the liquid liner or the liquid makeup and you know, the more you use this brow pencil and the product kind of softens up a bit, it gets better. What we're going to do is take a little bitty hits of tissue, try and define this one a little bit more. We're going to see if my magic trick works with this face primer. At least now it's got a bit more of an arch. Okay. And now for the part I'm really excited about. Where's my liner? I keep sliding under my little tray here. Okay, I thought I was going to love this. But it's not working over this look very well.
very thin formula. It's not super pink. Like it looked really great until it put got put over color. Like you can barely tell that it's there. That's kind of upsetting. So perhaps this liner is something that needs to be like the star of the show itself. Like granted, I am trying to put it over some really pigmented stuff. So maybe that's why it's not working. <sighs> yeah, I think it's because of how pigmented the purples and pinks are but it's not wanting to work so I think this is one of those liners that you're gonna have to like put it over like a single color and even then it's still taking quite a few tidbits See what happens if I do this. Just make more obviously there. It's kind of neat. So I'm going to reserve judgment on that liner. I think so. I got kind of natural lashes. And I got like really wow lashes and I think I'm going to need to do the really wow lashes with this look or it's just not going to work. So before we get to lashes, we're going to use our squeezy dude. Squeeze them just a little bit toward the ends. And then some mascara. Actually, we'll do lashes and then mascara. Okay, I'm going to pop off camera and put on my lashes, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, uh, real quick. I know I said I was going to pop off camera and then be right back, but I got into the package, and I saw the glue, and I had to share with you guys. That's the glue. Like, that's a lot of glue. So, like, even if you get the lashes just for the glue, I'm also, though, a little bit concerned because that's some really clear glue, and I'm used to, like, it being white-ish or black. I'm not used to it starting clear and ending clear. So we'll see how this goes. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So um, I got the lashes on. After I put them on, I go ahead. I went ahead and went through and um, put on a little bit more eyeliner, like just over the top of them. Um, that glue was a little weird to get used to. And because the lashes are so big, it took me a couple tries to get them on. But I'm not mad at it then like they're they're nice lashes like they look nice on camera and they look nice in person they just kind of they're like a little long so I might trim them a bit um like trim the length of them a bit um the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and setting spray because I honestly don't know what I want to do with my lips yet oh wow that's a powerful sprayer guys I'm like holding it in arm's length away and that still like took two sprays to cover my entire face. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry. We're going to put the glue away. And like, I kind of like how this looks with no lip on, but I didn't get a neutral lip color. Uh, so we're going to, we want to do the lighter pink or the darker pink. We're going to go ahead and go with the lighter pink, guys. Um, we'll try the darker pink a different day. But because we're going with the lighter pink, we're also going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and again use the lighter lip liner. The lip liner I know I like, guys. Um, so the lip liners will make it into my everyday. And I'm going to do kind of a review 
Um, it'll be posted later after I've done this. Um, I'm going to re record it today. I just got to go get the lip scrub because I also tried that and I want to tell you guys what I think about that. So just a second here. Um, okay, so this is the look, guys. Um, I know this side of my lip is crooked. I'm not going to mess with it. Normally, I would, like, clean that up, but I'm not going to today uh, just because it's, like, a real pain in the neck to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go take some pictures of this while I've got some good lighting outside, and then I will probably wear this for a bit, and I will do a review a little bit later today after I've worn this for a bit um, and let you know what I thought about all of the products. Let me know what you think about it. How would you have done like a different full glam look? Um, do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you, what are your favorite Dollar Tree finds? Because like these are some of my favorite Dollar Tree finds. These highlighters right here. Um, and then like I said, I'll do a review and in that review I'll kind of go over what are my yeses, what are my noes, what I will definitely be using again, what I probably won't be using again. Um, so look forward to that. Um, as soon as that's up, I'll also go through and go ahead and link it up there. There. That side. Because it puts the links on that side. Um, up there somewhere. <laughs> and so thank you guys so much for joining me today. Remember to be kind to one another. Be the change you want to see in the world. And a smile is infectious. I hope to see you guys again. I hope you like the look. We're not going to do any sexy slow-mos because I can't do any sexy slow-mos. So we're just going to kind of enjoy it a bit. Talk to you later. Bye.